Hey guys, we just got some breaking workhorse news that's causing the stock to jump up in the last couple minutes of trading and it's good news for workhorse. I mean, we've been getting just bad news for workhorse and no news for workhorse for a while, especially since a USPS contract got delayed to sometime in 2021 and it'll probably be delayed further. I mean, we're expecting it to sometime be February, March. It might get delayed like it did last year, but Good news for Workhorse today, and let's go ahead and take a look at the stock price. Appreciate the thumbs up for keeping you guys updated as quickly as possible. Okay, so Workhorse, you can see it was kind of down today at 9.15 a.m., and then boom, you got this surge up to over 8% today. So what's causing this price action movement? Well, Workhorse just got a new electric vehicle order and what it means for the stock. Let's take a look at what uh, is this deal entail. So let's make it bigger so we can all read it. So shares of the Commerce Workhorse is rising after big order for delivery trucks, okay. The stock is up because Workhorse secured an order from Pride Group Enterprise for 6,320 C-Series all-electric van. Workhorse C-Series vehicle are commercially delivery vans. So they got an order for 6,320. Now, we'll see if Ride, does Ride go along up as well? Ride's up only 1%. Okay, our new agreement with Pride marks our largest individual order to date. Now, is this talking about 2020 or 2021? Because it's, we just started 2021. But I'm assuming this is all the history of the company because that's pretty big orders. So, and expanded our sales channel internationally into Canada for the first time. So that means they are now branching into Canada. I thought they already had work in Canada with UPS drivers there uh, trying out back in the old days, but we'll see said uh, Workhorse CEO Dwayne Hughes in the company's news release. This large order solidifies our first mover advantage and indicates a heightened interest in our last mile delivery products. Hughes also said that the company's partnership with Hitachi Capital America created to providing financial option for electric vehicle trucks continue to bear fruit as we are gearing to scale up production 2021. So earlier this year, uh, people thought they got the USPS contract because they partnership with Hitachi, which is a financing and a marketing group that helps people buy workhorse vehicles at a lease price or at a purchase price, like, kind of like a loan or a payment option. And a lot of people expect that, but nothing has happened from USPS. But they say ever since that partnership happened like five to six months ago, it has started bearing fruits. And maybe they are suggesting that Capital America is using the financing. Yeah, they are using the financing with Hitachi that they set up. So that's pretty good. Pride Group appears to be a privately held logistic company operating in the U.S. and Canada, offering service such as truck rentals and trucking service. So they're going to use some of these workhorse trucks to rent it out to other people, and they're going to use it for themselves as well. The company wasn't immediately available to comment on the size of its operation, but provide lists 260 trucks in its logistic group. That makes an order... Uh, look large as Pride Fleet appears to be smaller than the 6,000 plus vehicle order. Plus logistics is just one of several Pride business partners. So if I'm getting this right, they're only going to use 260 trucks out of 6,000 in the order. However, they have other several customers that they work with where it seems like they might be renting out. It's kind of like a third party. It's like, you know, we're going to... Um, Buy, buy these vehicles, use some of it for ourselves, but rent it out to other people and then we're going to just use the Hitachi financing. We do not believe this agreement covers Pride's own fleet as Pride's group only operates 260 semi-trucks and 640 trailers in the company's own logistics business, uh, wrote Roth Capital analyst Craig Irwin Monday's research. Okay, so this just talks about the stocks. I want to know when they plan to have all this 6,000 vehicles delivered. So it gives us an idea of how fast Workhorse can produce these trucks. Because right now we know they are behind on their order of rider. They were expecting 300 in Q4 of 2020. And uh, we'll find out if they make it since Q4 just closed a couple days ago. And that will indicate of how Workhorse is. Because we knew they hired more people. They hired more people to do higher productions. We also know that they hire Hitachi, which is paying dividends right now, apparently, since this company is using their finance group. And they hired more workers. So we'll see if Workhorse can crush those numbers beyond 300 in Q4 like they anticipated, then Workhorse stock is going to go up regardless they get the USPS contract. Now, if they miss those numbers, 
I'm expecting a big dip of Warhorse, even with this announcement. It's going to take back all the gains they made from this announcement. So that's something you guys got to keep an eye on. So far, I have not bought any more Warhorse in Q3 and Q4 of 2020. I decided to just hold my position and sold a little bit of profit, but I still have some Warhorse. So that's some, something you guys got to keep in mind of how you want to play this. Regardless of delivery timing and conditions, more sales is a good thing. The rest of Wall Street feels better about the stock than Irwin does. Overall, about 57% analyst covered companies share, rates it as a buy. So right now, the stock average is $24. I would like to know more about this deal if we can see the, uh, S, the filings on this, the SEC filings of how many orders and when they expect it to re, uh, fulfill those and the year. That would give us a better indication of when Workhorse themselves think they can deliver those vehicles and if it's going to hit projections. Overall, this is great news for Workhorse. I, if you are, I know Kathy Woods and ARK Invest has been buying a lot of Workhorse on the dip and so far has not been rewarding their shareholders too much. Right now, it seems like this is relatively flat. It seems like Workhorse breaks $20 and goes below $20, just that back and forth. We won't know until Q4 of 2020, uh, those numbers, those earnings, of how Workhorse is actually really doing. And if you and that might give us an indication if USPS will even get that contract to Workhorse or give them all of it, partial of it, or any of it. Because we gotta really know their delivery numbers of how well they can execute on those orders. And that's a huge thing. And another thing to watch out is Ryder. Ryder is a main uh, company that ordered Workhorse early on in 2020. And Workhorse has been delivering those vehicles to Ryder and we have to see if Ryder wants to do repeat orders if they like the vehicle. It shows those repeat buying orders for customers and that that's something that's good for the long run. It's kind of like the Tesla semis. When people buy the Tesla semis and Tesla delivers it, we want to know if those same customers are buying those vehicles and integrating more to their fleet and slowly convert over. So those are big things you guys have to keep watch of. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these vehicles that Ryder have been using in the delivery, what it looks like to take delivery of Ryder. Appreciate this thumbs up, guys. See engines. Workhorse. So all, all your trucks are workhorse? Most, yeah. Most of them. Oh. <laughs> the workhorse truck, eh? Huh? The workhorse. Yeah. They're good trucks, eh? Not as good as yours. How's <laughs> <laughs> everything? Good, you? Workhorse. Never had problems with that. No, never. Are you serious? How do you know it's a workhorse truck? Huh? How do you know it's a workhorse truck? It doesn't have the emblem on the steering wheel, eh? No, but it has it on the. No, some of them do. They do? Some of them do, and they have the sticker when you. Like, it's a sticker with the uh, parts number. Yeah. And it says workhorse. Workhorse. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the UPS trucks are workhorse. I don't know if all of them are. The ones that you've driven are? Yeah. All of them? Most, yeah, but I drive the P5s okay. because there's P1000, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like bigger trucks, but I think most of them are. Hey YouTube, I'm here in Orange, California at the Ryder Service Center and there is a workhorse delivery truck. They have one, 100% electric, check this out. First off, this is pretty cool. I live in Orange County, California, so it's cool to see workhorse in there. And I guess we'll get some horn tests. Here's the inside of the workhorse truck. So the inside looks pretty boring in my opinion, but hey, they do have AC, so don't crank it too much. I don't want you to kill that battery. Okay, here's the inside of the workhorse truck. You can see it's all like a composite material, so it makes the truck very light. So we're gonna have a nice look at the inside underneath the hood. The workhorse. Let me show you the engine real quick. All right, if you have any questions, just uh, write a comment below and I'll answer it. The rider driver did say that um, the trucks are very, very fun to drive, very easy. The turn radius, he says on a normal truck, you can turn it, turn the steering wheel, and it'll stop. 
but this one keeps going. Its turn radius is very good on this. And he says the range is about 100 miles. And it'll be available soon to public. First off, Michael Lee, thank you so much for that footage. That is my brother's name, his name is Michael Lee as well, but with one E since we're Vietnamese. But anyways, thank you for showing off that footage. Really good look at the overall product. I haven't seen it inside the workhorse yet. Uh, we just see these videos of drone deliveries and outside of it, but we haven't seen what's inside and underneath the hood. And I can say I'm not too impressed. It looks pretty bare bones and plain. I was hoping a little bit more futuristic, but hey, it's, it gets the job done right now it's also interesting where it has big sign on the side that says rent this call this company and it just has a small workhorse and the older version usps ups in canada it has the old company logo on the steering wheel but this one just says sc uh, i or sc1 so we'll see it's just a very small logo so it's very hard to spot out if it's actually a workhorse truck uh it's a small sticker in the front by the driver's side i believe but overall, it's kind of cool to see that Workhorse is is have product in California, especially Orange County where I live. Hopefully, I can go to Ryder and check it out. Um, but this might give some insight from other last mile delivery companies or any delivery companies who want to invest in Workhorse. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you for smashing that like button. Check out Michael's full footage in the description below. And uh, feel free to follow me on Patreon. See you guys next time.